I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. I'm tired of hearing my sisters say the same thing over and over. You know, we live in a world of social media and AI and all that, and this is what will endure. Hope will endure. Forgiveness will endure. Oprah finally breaks silence on Taraji P. Henson pay controversy, but it seems like she is trying to settle it to hide some serious truth. Here is why. In the midst of the unfolding drama surrounding unequal pay in Hollywood, Taraji P. Henson and Oprah Winfrey have taken to social media to quell rumors of tension between them. Their recent praises for each other seem to be an attempt to diffuse any potential discord, especially considering Henson's recent revelations about pay disparities during the press tour for The Color Purple. Oprah, the executive producer of the musical adaptation, posted a carousel on December 22nd, featuring photos of herself with Henson, both on and off set. Expressing admiration for Henson's talents, Oprah welcomed her to the Purple Sisterhood and anticipated standing ovations for her portrayal of Shug Avery. In turn, Henson, the star of the film, posted on December 21st, describing Oprah as a steady and solid beacon of light for the entire cast. She clarified that Oprah had provided unwavering support, encouragement and guidance, emphasizing the importance of women of color supporting each other. The need for this public display of solidarity arose as fans. Upon hearing Henson's emotional accounts of pay disparity, directed accusations at Oprah. And if I can't fight for them coming up behind me, then what the fuck am I doing? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm tired of what? hearing that my entire career, 20 plus years in the game, and I hear the same thing, and I see what you do for another production, and when it's time for us to go to bed, you don't have any money. Mm. They play in your face. Mm -hmm. And I'm just supposed to smile and grin and bear it and just keep, like, mm -hmm. enough is enough. Mm -hmm. Speculations emerged that Henson and other black actors were being underpaid, with Oprah being impressed. Yes. Oprah's involvement in this controversy led to social media scrutiny, with fans analyzing body language in a photo shoot video, speculating on the nature of the relationship between Oprah and Henson. Despite these speculations, both women have publicly praised each other, attempting to quell the rumors and shift the focus back to the film itself. What they're getting paid, which is half of what a man is getting paid, well, we get probably a tenth of what a Caucasian woman gets and I'm number one on the call sheet. And then I have to go in and I have to hustle for my worth because once again, I got the Oscar, I got the Emmy, I got the two Tonys, I've done Broadway, I've done off-Broadway, I've done TV, I've done film, I've done all of it. I have a career that's probably comparable to Meryl Streep, Julianne Moore, let's Sigourney Weaver, they all came out of Yale, they came out of Juilliard, they came out of NYU, they had the same path as me. And yet, I am nowhere near them. Not as far as money, not as, as far as job opportunities, nowhere close to it. But I have to get on that phone and people say, you're a black Meryl Streep. <laughs> ah, you are, and we love you. We love you. There is no one like you. Okay, then if there's no one like me, you think I'm that, you pay me what I'm worth. As this controversy continues to unfold, it serves as a stark reminder of the systemic issues of unequal pay in Hollywood, especially for black women actors. The fate of the color purple now hangs in the balance, with the public closely watching how these revelations will impact the film's release and the broader conversation about equity and representation in the entertainment industry. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. She confessed in an interview with Gayla King the sincerity in her voice transcending the air wabas. Her words painted a stark picture of the struggles faced by black women in Hollywood, a narrative that, as she lamented, seems to replay itself relentlessly, like an unwelcome refrain. But the storm intensified as whispers on social media accused Oprah Winfrey, the queen of media herself, of being complicit in this systemic underpayment. Fans, quick to scrutinize, speculated that Oprah, with her illustrious career and considerable influence, might be perpetuating the very inequities she has, in the past, advocated against. The accusations gained traction, fueled by comparisons to Oprah's own revelations about her modest payment for the original Color Purple film. However, in the ever-evolving landscape of Hollywood, where narratives are crafted not just on celluloid, but also on social media platforms, perceptions are as malleable as clay. 
the controversy took an unexpected turn when both Taraji and Oprah engaged in a public display of mutual admiration on Instagram. Oprah's carousel of images, featuring both behind-the-scenes moments and character shots, was accompanied by effusive praise for Taraji's talents and a warm welcome to the Purple Sisterhood. The day before, Taraji, perhaps sensing the rising tide of accusations against Oprah, took to Instagram to defend the media mogul. In a carefully crafted caption accompanying a photo from a photo shoot atop the Empire State Building, Taraji hailed Oprah as a steady and solid beacon of light to the entire cast of The Color Purple. She spoke of Oprah's unwavering support, guidance, and encouragement, and thanked her for being a decision-making Black woman who made her feel heard with just one call and one conversation. The dueling narratives of inequality and solidarity paint a complex portrait of Hollywood's power dynamics, where success and struggle coexist, often within the same frame. The question that lingers in the minds of onlookers is whether these social media gestures are genuine expressions of support or strategic moves in a carefully choreographed dance to preserve the image of an industry luminary. The skepticism arose not just from the accusations of underpayment, but also from a deeper dive into the historical context of Black women navigating the labyrinthine corridors of Hollywood. Taraji, with her raw and unfiltered honesty, became a conduit for the stories of countless Black actresses who found their voices stifled by an industry that seemed to perpetually underestimate their worth. In the annals of Hollywood's checkered history, the revelation about unequal pay for Black actresses is not a novel chapter. Viola Davis, a revered actress with an illustrious career, once shared her frustrations at a Women in the World event in 2018, comparing herself to white counterparts like Meryl Streep and Julianne Moore. You're a Black Meryl Streep. <laughs> ah! You are, and we love you. <laughs> we love you. There is no one like you. Okay, then if there's no one like me, you think I'm that? You pay me what I'm worth. Davis lamented the vast discrepancies in pay and opportunities. Her words, though poignant, were not isolated echoes. Other voices, too, joined the chorus, underscoring the systemic nature of the issue. The specter of unequal pay extends beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood premieres. It infiltrates negotiations, contract discussions, and the very essence of an artist's struggle. Octavia Spencer, an Academy Award-winning actress, revealed in a Sundance panel in 2018 how her co-star Jessica Chastain played a pivotal role in negotiating equal pay for both of them on a film Chastain was producing. The concept of favored nations, ensuring equal pay for both actors, emerged as a strategy to combat the inherent biases in Hollywood's compensation structures. As Taraji's revelations reverberate through social media, they open a Pandora's box of questions about the pervasive culture of silence in Hollywood. The fear of backlash, blacklisting, and professional repercussions often compels actors to bear the weight of inequity silently. Monique, a trailblazing comedian and actress, knows this struggle intimately. In 2009, she publicly accused Oprah of blackballing her in the industry due to her refusal to participate in a press tour without compensation for the film Precious, which Oprah co-produced. Oprah's response at the time was dismissive, claiming she didn't want to engage with Monique's negative energy. This incident, which took place over a decade ago, now casts a long shadow over the recent controversy. The public's perception of Oprah's stance on Black actresses, demanding fair compensation, is tinged with skepticism, shaped by a history where allegations of mistreatment were met with silence or deflection. The entangled web of Hollywood politics, racial biases, and gender disparities is not easily unraveled. The reactions to Taraji's revelations exemplify the precarious position Black actresses find themselves in, an industry that often exploits their talent while demanding their silence. The dichotomy between the public praise on social media and the private struggles behind closed doors lays bare the complex negotiation that Black women in Hollywood navigate. Taraji's contemplation of quitting acting, expressed in heartfelt interviews, as a catalyst for change or another footnote in an industry reluctant to confront its own reflection in the mirror of truth.